Jonah, and today I'm doing a two-part series of some of my favorite loop yarn blankets that I've recently made. And I had to make it a two-part series because I've made so many that I can only show you four in this video and five in the second part. And these are four different styles, four different colors, and I have so many different unique things about them that lend themselves to all the different types of afghans you could possibly make. So I'm gonna start off with the first one, which is a perfect one for the beginner. Let me pull it out here. Here it is. It's the knit stitch encased with a garter border. So it is perfect for the beginner because the knit stitch is the first stitch you learn when you learn loop yarn. And this color is called gray plum, but I prefer to call it sugar plum because I absolutely love the purple, lavender, and pink hues as they all kind of pull together. So this is a great one for a beginner and wonderful for a girl's room. And size-wise, it's 50 inches wide by 66 inches long. I like to make, make mine extra long, so that way if they're taller, it just accommodates them perfectly. But another benefit is that if I flip it over to the back side, you have the purl stitch. That's because the back side of a knit is a purl, and the back side of a purl is a knit. So this is the first blanket that uses the color Sugar Plum of Bernat Easy Loop Yarn. Set this one aside. And the next one is has to be one of my top three favorites. It's the cabled one. Let me pull it out. Here it is. Just look at those beautiful cables as they run through. Now the actual pattern is a throw, about 35 by 50, but mine is bigger because I added another cable pattern. And so the blanket is consisting of five cable panels separated by three purl stitches and then two knit stitches and i just think it's absolutely gorgeous it's my favorite loop yarn blanket and this i would not recommend for a beginner it's more for an intermediate loop yarn crochet and i use the color dijon which is this beautiful fall mustardy golden color which i think is really nice for complementing people's home decor for the fall and just mustard is one of my favorite fall and winter time colors so here is the cabled one in the color Dijon of Bernat Easy Loop Yarn, if you want to check that out. And the next one is my own design, and I like to call it the spaced garter stitch. And when I use the variegated, it's so pretty because of the way that the colors pull out. And I chose a really pretty earthy tone color, and the color is called Warm Clay. So I'll pull that one out now. Here it is, it's in warm clay, and you can see how it's spaced garter because you have segments of seven rows of the knit stitch and segments of three rows of the purl stitch. And that also gives it that spaced effect where you have a really beautiful pulling of the knit stitch and then the kind of ribs that come through it. And these are also generous too, 50 inches by 66. And I would recommend this for a beginner because like in the first blanket with the sugar plum color, it uses the knit stitch and the purl stitch, and it's about 65 loops across, and I like to go until I'm 66 inches long, and I just love the size it gives you, and all of the loop yarn blankets are nice and lightweight, so good for summer, spring, fall, and winter, because you can do different stitches to make them thicker or thinner, and this is one of the more lightweight stitches, as opposed to the cable or the next one I'm going to show you. And I just love the tones of this color, with the neutrals, with the cream and the gray, and then the maroon mixed with the rust color, I think it really offsets each other. And it's another one of my favorites when it comes to loop yarn colors. And this one is my mom's favorite because she loves Chevron Afghans. And you'll be surprised how pretty this one is. Now normally you wouldn't think you could make a chevron with loop yarn, but you can. Just look at that. So mom's favorite because she loves black and slate grays and cream all together of loop yarn. But the way it's worked is how you'd actually work a single crochet 
or knit chevron by working several stitches, a decrease of three, several stitches, an increase of three, a decrease, an increase, continue on in that pattern, and it gives you this shape. But guess what? Those other loop yard blankets take six to seven balls, but this eats up nine whole balls because normally they'd be 65 loops across. This is 85 because you have to accommodate for the up and down of the chevron. That's why chevrons take more yarn because you're going up and down in your fabric instead of just straight back and forth. So this is a very generous sized blanket and it's thicker because as you can see, you have those lines going down and that's because you're overlapping three stitches we're increasing three stitches. And I've also made another one of these blankets with the color bright blue, bright purple, and bright rainbow. And it had a really nice fun effect for a kid's room, but this one's more for home decor or an adult's bedroom. So this is another one of my personal favorites because I love how the chevron evens out on the side and you can change the number of segments you have. Like for example, this one's six arrows, but you can make it seven, you can make it five, whatever you would like. So this, is the chevron blanket which uses the color slate grays black and cream and those were just four of the loop yard blankets that i've made recently and i really love showing them to you and i'll make sure i put a link below to the patterns that are available one of them is my own design of course the yarn because there's so many colors to choose from on yarnspirations.com and hope you enjoyed today's show and tell so please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to join us hands and your inspirations and crochet away friends.